This video is about touring from Talamban to Cordoba and then back to Cebu by a CCLX. So join me for the journey today. I'll be going from here in Talamban, going to Mactan Island, Cordoba, and by a Cecil X, I'll be back in this Cebu Island. So this is the Gaisano Grand Mall Talamban, but I'll be going by a Kabangkalan. So we'll be passing through the first bridge of Cebu Mactan connection. You will notice because it's Sunday, a lot of the shops around here is closed. So hopefully, it will not cause any traffic today. And then we can go through our journey quite smoothly. It's a very hot day today, so it's nice to travel around. What is this? Wow, so someone there, and there's a fire truck on my back, so I'll have to let go on the side to go on the side, let it go through. As usual, a fire truck it will be followed by motorbikes that want to rush in because the fire truck has been given way. So now we're going turn on the left. This is Kabangkalan Road that will be take us straight on to the first bridge of Mactan Cebu connection. There's the private market. And Kabangkalan Road is not all just Mandawa City around somewhere here in the middle I think oh, not not even in the middle on this post where the jurisdiction of Cebu City ends and this is now Mandawa City's jurisdiction as what we are traveling to So you can see all the big towers of our electric company provider is here in Kabangkalan Road. Halfway through the middle, it's now called Kasuntingan. That's the Kasun Barangay Kasuntingan area and although it's still the Kabangkalan Road, most people or most drivers if you're riding a taxi is calling it Kasuntingan nice driving without the traffic
this is also where you find uh, STS Global Creation right on the left you can see it ahead there this their sign STS Global Creation right across the Kabangkalan Barangay Hall that's where you find stainless steel brand new cheaper than most of the second-hand or Korean surplus centers you find here in Cebu City I just bought a preparation table for Susan from there and I, I was hunting through the different second-hand ones and then they are very expensive and then when I went there they have a good price for a brand new stainless steel table good quality as well so here in Kabangkalan Road you will see a turning on the left called Hernan Cortez that's coming up right ahead where you can see a taxi just go to the right and continue on it will take that this will take us to the highway of Mandawa City. There's the Kabangkalan Elementary School on the right. And also on the left, that's where you go to the different subdivision, Villa Terraces, Green Hills, Agromacro, there near the Anita's Bake Shop. And during the afternoon time, there will be a marketplace around here in Kabangkalan on the left. But they are closed during daytime or usually open at early morning and like 5 to 8 at night. And there's the Gaisano Capital Kasuntingan because right here on this place that's when they call this Kasuntingan on the same road as Kabangkalan motorbike on the left I will be filming them soon that's a new brand that's coming to Cebu they usually displayed in Manila but now they have a showroom here and here on the left there's the marketplace, JJ Marketplace, like a food park. I haven't been there. That's one of the things that I will feature soon as well. Then there's the Holy Family Church on the left as well. This is also where you find the Nissan showroom, Nissan cars, here in Kasuntingan Road. We are now nearing the highway so usually it takes a while for us to cross over but hopefully this time we just go through smoothly the number is now 56 but 
you know it's not a long traffic that the normal days is happening here that you are so far away from where the stoplight is just easing on towards the highway So it's a green light. I have to go straight. I'm going to the first bridge. Mm -hmm. So you can see a lot of shops around here on this road there's hotels there's showrooms because Mandawi city is a highly commercialized city like Cebu highly urbanized and this is under a city mayor not under the governor of Cebu You cannot turn on the right here. You have to go straight to go to the main Mandawi City Hall and its market. This is where you can turn on the right to go to the market area or they called Mercado Mandawe. Straight on, I will go on this lane because right when you go near the bridge, you will be better off staying in the middle lane because it becomes one lane going up the bridge. And usually the green light here going turning left and going forward turns green at the same time so you you can go through straight even if you're here in the middle lane So you can see up there in the aerials is our problematic cables that's hanging around very low some of them now they haven't sorted it yet some of them even get cut off during typhoons but what can we do it's already been like that I hope the government will eventually fix this kind of problems see what I mean the green light going forward and green light going on the left turns on turns green at the same time
So that's the Copenhagen Hotel on the left side and a water bottling plant and you can see the first bridge of Mactan Civil Connection up ahead and this is what I mean that this lane on the middle will take you straight right there because the one on the mid on the right side will take you under the bridge and it's quite very strict here during normal days like I mean normal working days because you're gonna get pine if you're on the wrong lane so we're going up now to the first bridge of Matan Cebu it's now color orange and they have put some railings on the side to avoid people falling over right in the middle of the channel so both sides got some screens now that you cannot just look through right in the middle where it's deep so you can just look through if you're right on the end of the bridge So I think I'll just go straight and take you to the Barigondon Road. Then before we take you, I'll take you to Cordoba, to the CCLX way. Hmm, their traffic light is not working here. All right, we have to ease through. So we are now on Mactan Island. This is Lapu Lapu City. It's September month now, but there will be you will be shocked that there are a lot of people displaying Christmas decorations for sale or even establishment that's already been um, decorating for Christmas as early as September because that's the usual tradition here in the Philippines that Christmas starts early. up there called girlfriends club on the left right side
there's so many holes there for their manholes of whatever and they haven't even level it up with the road it has to like a proper hole some of them do I'm going that lane So that's the outlet on the left side. That's where you buy a factory surplus from the different branded products like Nike and some clothes. This is now what we call the Barangay Basak Lapu Lapu City. That's where the outlet belongs to on the left side. There's a big building going on there that will be finished soon because it's now like having windows and stuff like that. Oops. Someone crossing over. And this is the like there's loads of, of urban settlers around here that's I think they will be moving soon because all the nice buildings going around being built like this um Maktan Commercial Center Maktan Town Center There's BBN's Hotel McDonald's up ahead So the tricycles that you see in the front That is the locals transport around here To the suburbs You know the where they live around here but the main ones that you t take from Cebu City to go to these um, areas, Basak and all that, is now through or by a bus because only a few jeepneys left now. So that's the Mactan Town Center on the left side. So our problem here because you don't we don't have lanes dedicated for motorbikes and all this tricycle you're gonna be traversing to or driving through with them even big trucks you'll be following them over here on the same road or the same lane see how busy is Basak Road or Basak area At least it's now double lane it used to be a single lane where everything plugs up here right up to the first bridge fortunately our gasoline prices have come down a bit now it used to be almost 80 pesos per liter and now it's um, what I'm been putting on my car is 72 pesos per liter so that's quite a big difference from 79 pesos per liter so we're going straight on to Marigondon Road right side that is the Maktan doctor's hospital and here you can see a lot of commercial center groceries and even a mall right up ahead so Bas Barangay Basak Lapu Lapu City is one progressive Barangay here in Island of Mactan.
and also population wise it has a lot of residents due to the presence of all these commercial centers our commercial shops factories and also like hospitals is around here so that's the Gaisano Grand Maktan that you can see up ahead on the left side I hope they already fixed the road around here because last time there's so many holes let's see so that's the Basak public market we are still around Barangay Basak It seems like the road is not fixed. Hopefully they can sort it out soon. So there's a Sabres Depot hardware opening here soon in Basak. That's our hardware in Talamban, Sabres Home Depot. see a lot of buildings coming up here in Maktan area there's also a lot of land that's still um, open fields not been developed but eventually I believe this is gonna all be filled up with either building showrooms or anything commercial because uh, Maktan is becoming uh, just fully commercial place they have all the export processing zone factories around here and it's expanding and of course comes with the factories is the commercial shops so we are now around Marigundun Barangay Marigundun the beach area So at the end of this road, we will be turning right on the crossing. We're going to be turning on the right, going to Cordoba. This is the Marigundun Elementary School on the 
right side. So you see there's Marigondon up ahead, which is the Marigondon Beach area, Maribago on the left side, and Cordoba on the right side. We will be going to Cordoba because we will go back to Cebu Island via CCLX. This is the Marigundun market on the right side. It usually got a lot of fresh fish there during the morning. So there are several small hotels, you know, like hostels around here in Marigondon. Because it's near to the public beach. There's a new big showroom there of Mitsubishi cars. So we are still around the jurisdiction of Lapu-Lapu City. You can tell by the um, planters that's been painted the different color of the old administration. It's still there. So we are still around Matan. So there's a new subdivision there on the right side. They're also having a groundbreaking ceremony last August. There's a Costa del Sol on the left side, subdivision. Paradise Resort is on the left, right side here in this turning. It's like for mostly locals go there. Now we are entering Cordoba Island. have to stop I want to check on the way to the CCLX for 
here in Cordoba. So I know now where to go to the Sicilax by uh, Cordoba to Cebu, but I'll, I've decided to take you around the Roro area to see what's the progress there because it was a really nice place there from as far as I'm concerned, the Roro here in Cordoba. I'll just see because someone's trying to overtake me on the back. And there's someone driving a big crate there well different stuff Bilia Max Ramona a new apartment blocks they also have tricycles as um, suburb transport here in Cordoba and they are usually color pink like what we see in the front Oh, that's the Bakasi. You know, there's a famous um, like roadside cafe here before that sells eels, and apparently the eels are really tasty. So that's one thing I will feature soon as well is the eels from Cordoba. That's the Cordoba Korea Friendship School on the left side. And Santa Lucia subdivision. someone there on the bicycle now we are on the Roro road look how beautiful it is call this Rorakai, Rorokai. You've got Burakai, they have Rorokai, Cordoba. This where this is where you catch the barge. They got a terminal here for the barge to go to Talibon Bohol. And they have a food park here you can see on the left side but we will be passing here that when we go back there's quite a live during night time you know for the locals but if you are a foreigner you want to taste the local food and you're not concerned about hygiene or like that you got a tough stomach 
that's one thing you can taste around here. A lot, a lot, a lot more shanties though. I've noticed it's now going on the other side, the right side. So it's low tide now. Now the road has extended on this side because usually before all the traffic just on this side of the road. And that's where all the fish from the fishing boat is being sold to the dealers on the right side there. You can see the shanties. That's where it gets sold. We'll turn around where the terminal is. So I'll take you to this road first where there's a line of boats. Most of them are boats for hire. To take you around the islands of around Mactan and then also for diving boats although a few of them is are privately owned but here these are the families that usually go on island hopping Weather is beautiful today, not so windy, like different shades of blue, sky blue, dark blue. On the left, that's the restaurant here in Cordoba, a Filipino restaurant. I'll have to turn off because I'll turn around. So I've done my turning. Uh, we're now going back to the road that I've been driving on. You can see all the boats that's for hire on the side. A lot of them has been destroyed during the storm last December though, but some has been repaired, but a lot also has not been just let to rot, you know, has not been repaired. <laughs> So if you go on the left side here from the Cordoba Roro, that will be the, ba the Bantayan Cordoba and that's where you can have a day in a beach, public beach of Bantayan. Uh -huh. What we're gonna do here, there's someone just stopping on the side of the road. so. Let the van go through first. 
that will be people from the islands buying their mineral water here on the mainland now we go in the new road on the new road here that's not been available for me before now it is so what you're looking at there are the fish traders buying the fish direct from the fishermen same here and if you are like a retailer in the market that's where you buy it from these people that buys direct from the fishermen and like you are now the third person selling that fish so you can see a lot of tiny boats that goes out at night to do fishing what's wrong with this pickup just stop in the middle oh they want to go out and have selfie So there's a new food park as well in this corner here. Oh, now I can see. The food park has been extended to here. See, you can see all the seafood, Filipino food. Only a few of them are open for lunch time, but night time is the best time to come here if you want to avail of those food that they sell there in the food park. And they also got here on the side corners because in the food park they have to pay rent. So selling it there. I want to check again on my map. So we continue on. I am now going out of the Roro Road, Roro Kai. I'll be going on the left to see more of Cordoba and of course going to the CCLX bridge turning on the left rather Humalan Street which is this So 
there's a terminal here for tricycles and jeepney. In 500 meters, turn right onto the Bank Two Road, San Miguel Road. Okay, Bank Hill Road, 500 meters. So that's up ahead is the Gaisano Grand Cordoba. They got different kinds of tricycles here, different shape rather. side Cordoba whatever is cold then we can overtake this one Balai B residences condominium San Miguel Cordoba this one see the CCLX toll road sign one kilometer from here oh my god I thought he's gonna stop you can go on the side you have to wait for the road to clear just to overtake because it's all like race pathways on the side.
are now in Pilipo, Barangay Pilipo. Oh my god, so the multi cab is trying to overtake, so I just have to wait for this jeepney to go through because I can't do my overtaking. For so we are now half kilometer from the CC legs. So we welcome to Barangay Pilipung. There you can see up ahead, that's the turning going to the CCLX bridge. CCLX Twelve Plaza ahead, one kilometer. So on October 1 is full RFID so I need to register because before you can even use the CCLX It seems like only one lane for the toll fee. They're all here. For cash.
so I need to um, sort out that RFID here to be able to pass here in the CCLX as of the moment they allow you to go through just pay cash So toll fare is still 90 for a car. The next is 180 and the truck is 270 pesos. So there's a warning there. Full RFID system starts on October 1. Enjoy seamless drive if you have RFID so get your RFID CZLX RFID So 90 pesos for the car. Now we continue on our trip. So you can do 60 on this road. That's the max speed enforcement. There is also plan to create a bridge from the row road towards Bohol. Hopefully it could 
push through because that will be easier for us to go to Bohol for a day and just go back home without staying there. still clean, no advertising in the middle of the poles. Now you can go 80. see the sky view of Cebu city from here silhouette of Cebu Island by the skyscrapers of Cebu city for emergencies not for selfies because some people when it first opened before stop there for selfies So motorcycles can also go through the bridge now. So there's a CCLX patrol for anyone that has a breakdown here, they're ready to help. Which is how it should be. And they are still expanding here on the side for commercial purposes I suppose. Because they put railings for like for views, like a park. the right link so I could go slow and have a good look for you
so far, CCLX is the longest bridge here in the Philippines. Eight and a half kilometers. Now we are nearing Cebu City. see SMC side up ahead. Now we're joining the main traffic of SRB Road. I should have better say main road, but it's traffic. And if you look at on the left, that's the new building. The new commercial complex has opened here recently or a slight opening of New Star that used to be New Star that uh, used to be called Isla de la Victoria and it's a casino, condo, hotel, mall, everything there and they have a few restaurants that's open there now so some people has been able to go there if you dine in in the restaurant I don't know if they allow just such sightseeing I have to ask someone that's been there so this is the SMC side and on the left if you see they are constructing something on the side of the SRP because they are creating a long board walk for the people to walk around mesmerizing the view of the seaside. So soon we'll be able to walk to that long boardwalk plan of the city here in SRP Road. That's the New Star Casino. Go on the side because we're gonna go on the turning point next to the next bridge. There's the jackpot, is 14 million, a 14 billion million.
so this area here on the on the right is still going on being developed by Phil and Bess for their condominiums community condominiums community and then the most beautiful mall here in Cebu City El Corso is on the left side So we are now nearing the U-turn slot under that old bridge there. So when you go over that bridge, that will be Talisa City jurisdiction. gonna stop in El Corso to have something to drink and that will conclude our tour from Talamba Cabancalan Road to Cordoba to Mactan to Cordoba and then back to Cebu City via Cecil X There's a food yard here in El Corso that you can, like a food park, food yard they call it here, that you can choose anything from different snacks to proper dining thing. So the parking spaces will be around the park. There you go. This is the conclusion of our tour today. I hope you enjoy it.